All right. Hey, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Sue, and I'm from OML Embroidery. And today, we're going to bake up these delicious, absolutely delicious cinnamon rolls. <laughs> so, yeah, just for fun. I don't know. I thought it was catchy, but isn't these cute? And this comes from Karina, because Karina um, always says... <laughs> that she's baking cinnamon rolls on Saturday morning and everyone's like, oh, they're so good. So just to be funny, here we go. Yes, my nails, thank you. There's different color, they're hearts. I guess you can see it better that way. Different colored hearts. And on this hand, because they're always different, it's just the same color, purple, and then swirlies. So just for fun, nice and bright. Yay, Cindy King says, good afternoon, working and listening, yummy. I know, it's so much fun. Hi, Anne and everyone else. I love the border. Yeah, that's going to be great for anything I do for Christmas. Isn't that going to be awesome? For sure. So, Ronog, hello. Nice to see you, as always. Belinda, hello from Chicago. Hope all is well. Well, it's, it's as good as it can be. That's what I'm saying. I have a positive attitude, so yeah. Ah, uh, hello from Meath, Ireland, finally catching alive. Well, I think your name is pronounced Siobhan. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. I mean, you know. Uh, welcome, Ireland. Cool place. Awesome. So welcome. Anyone who's new, welcome. You guys will love this. This is hashtag Mug Rug Monday. And we usually have a lot of fun. Saturdays and Mondays are our main days. So just a quick overview. Uh, this is what we did on Saturday. And this is the using the fire colors. And it uh, I, I went bright on this part. And I actually really like how it turned out. I wasn't sure about the mountains, but that's... Uh, that's how it turned out. This is the original one in purples, so you can see the difference. So this is an applique that I would put on the back of a hoodie or something like that. And this is the one I did as a quilt block. And if you put a backing on it, it can be a mug rug as well. So that's cool. I don't have my fire horses anymore, but they are up on the website for sale. So you can get those horses now, three sizes. And this is my Foxy, I want to say Foxy Cleopatra, but you know, you know, um, I will get him up tomorrow. I ran out of time today. Lots to do, you know. But anyways, I like the fire colors. We had a lot of fun. It's awesome. So today we're doing this. So I did the bun in this color. Now this happens to be my, <laughs> don't laugh, my gingerbread colors, because, you know, I love gingerbread men and making them, so <laughs> um, I thought that would be uh, perfect, and it did work out. Now, I'm going to use white, you could use off-white, you could use anything you want for the icing, and then this is just, it's an outline, but it's not really. It's the buildup of cinnamon because they're so yummy. So it is a little bit off here and there, but it's supposed to be. So there you go. This is going to be a lot of fun. Now, this is up on the website, and it's $2. That's all because it's such a fun design. Um, the owls and the shadow boxes, there, there's three different sizes and three different ways you can do it, and it's like, seven dollars and fifty cents when I get um when I get Foxy up I'll put him in a package or something and figure it out from there so if you have questions as we're going along don't be afraid to ask I'm gonna do this groovy ombre background I was gonna do just black but I thought oh ombre black and gray is gonna be really nice so okay let's head on over to the machines machines plural no it's just one machine it is my brother luminaire um a three it's a two but it's a three so uh because i have all the upgrades on it and his name is captain jack and that's either captain jack sparrow or 
another Captain Jack that nobody knows. So that's fine. That's fine. Okay, now I'm hungry. I know. I know. New nails. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I try to do them once a week, but you know. Sharon Arthur. Hey, everyone. Had to check in today and see this mug rug. It's a lot of fun. So Bob and police. Uh, I had to put in a full bobbin. This is how much I had left. And I didn't think it was enough for any kind of a decent game of bobbin chicken. So it's going to sit into the gra bobbin graveyard until I need it. So bobbin police were good to go. And Judy Quilt, sorry if there's stuff on it. Sorry, I don't mean to. Gorgeous nails, Sue. Thank you. Uh, this is what makes me relax is doing my nails painting them you know bright colors fun different on each hand it's actually really hard to use your left hand on your right hand so i usually do something easier on that so chris yost hi everybody so this is a relatively simple design and it's one size and it is you know a mug rug or a coaster some people call it coaster so I am using water soluble stabilizer because it has a satin stitch finish and we want to rinse it all away so we have a perfect one. New googly eyes, nope, they've always been on my 5x7. They're just different than the other ones. Um, I have blue ones on the front of Captain Jack here. So placement and we do want some batting so I'm just gonna put that on. Batting is nice. Oh, good. I was just using scraps. I'm glad. I'm glad there's enough for sure. I'm going to trim it all out afterwards. Um, normally, I play a high price for not trimming everything right away. Don't put your fingers anywhere near that. Uh, 7511 needle water soluble stabilizer is the most important part. Just regular warm and natural batting. You can use any kind that you want. And ombre fabric so if you wanted to cut this out now you could but i'm gonna do all the cutting save it for last ah except for i should have put my fabric down there okay let's back it up easy easy to do there we go now we're gonna put the fabric down oh yeah that's gonna give it some depth i think so i just rewound a, a little bit um for the fabric it's okay easy peasy yes i like this nice and dark could have put the darker on the bottom as well that would have looked pretty good i was gonna stitch it around twice you can trim at this point like i said or do it all at once sometimes easier to have it trimmed before you do the back part so we'll see so the next step is going to be for our cinnamon roll or cinnamon bun. I'm not sure which is the correct way of saying it, but there you go. <laughs> cinnamon roll bun Karina's. <laughs> nails. Oh, I'm glad you guys like my nails. Thank you. It's just purple and groovy. So cute little outline. And now I'm going to add my uh, bun fabric or my Christmas gingerbread fabric. I keep a separate uh, area, storage area for Christmas and um, Halloween. So I rated my Christmas for this gingerbread fabric. So I do have the selvage edge on this. So that's why I was double checking to make sure I'm not uh, incorporating it into my design because we don't want that. It's ugly. It's ugly. It's got holes and bleh. I didn't bother to cut it off, but I also don't want to use it. All right, so now we are going to go back to the desk and back to the desk. Let's do that first. Back to the desk, there we go. And we're gonna do some trimming. So I have white that we're gonna use. So first trimming, let's see, I'm gonna use my, my little Nom Noms scissors. So this is for the button. And I wanna have a really good trimming day today for some reason. 
I would just like it. Remember to always take your time with the trimming. It will make your applique look better in the end. And I know I use these uh, scissors backwards, but that's just the way my brain works. It doesn't matter. Um, it will matter for this one, the outside one, but we'll see. So just this one first. It's looking good. I don't think I did such a bad job. I could fix it up a little bit. Now the covering stitches are not, you know, big old satin stitches. So that's why I'm saying, you know, trim it nicely. Try to be nice and make it look good because we don't have those amazing satin stitches to cover everything up. Jenny says, hi everyone, I'm watching from work on my break. Ooh, only here for a few minutes. We'll watch the replay later. Well, thank you very much, Jenny. I hope you enjoy this for your break and uh, thanks for watching. So this is the proper way to use these scissors, guys. The duckbill part is just gonna slide across my WSS where if I do it how my brain wants me to, this is gonna see, you can, you can hear it stab in where this one there's nothing so i'll do it properly because it actually does save time um not that doing it backwards is improper but see this this i know why i'm doing it that way today because my arm hurts my right arm it's like a little bit a little bit awkward for me you guys can't see my bandage yet all right, so that's a bit hacky. I'd like it a little bit better, but we do have satin stitches on the outside, so I'm not going to worry about it. We always have the get out of jail free card, which is the zigzag stitches. So if I'm that far off, all right, I can't do that anymore. That hurts my, hurts my arm. Yes, definitely hurts my arm. Blah. I get my stitches out hopefully on Friday, so that'll make a difference. And fingers crossed that he got it all, and I actually will get my stitches out. If not, you'll have to do this all over again. So we're hoping. Fingers crossed. Think of me Friday morning. Okay, so I'm just going to be careful not to stab it. See something about the angle? I'm cutting it much, much better because that's what my brain likes. So backwards. Try not to cut over the stitches um, and if you have any little bits to trim up look at that isn't that interesting this is where I held it the way I wanted to and this part is doing it the right way for me which is backwards so you can just tidy it up if you want don't worry about it um, there we go Robin will be praying for you thank you thank you I'm just I have 50 50 something stitches in my arm and I'm tired of it because it hurts uh so hopefully fingers crossed back to the machine we're going to put it back in and the next step is going to be the outline stitches now again it's not a satin stitch so we want to do a great job on the um trimming on this one it's just the lighter stitch that I like to use all the time. It just makes it look better. Uh, let's see, I can zoom in for you guys if you want so you can see it. Now those edges are being covered up and darker will look better. So for sure, for sure, concur concurrent viewers. Everyone uh, watches the replays of Mug Rug Monday. We all love Mug Rug Monday. But the replays as opposed to the live which is absolutely fine but it's awesome so again this is on omlembroidery.com and it's two dollars so pretty inexpensive as far as embroidery designs go and it was it is <laughs> meant to just tease karina and uh that's what we're doing Okay, so that part's done. See, it goes much faster now. I do have a little bit of wispy bits out there, but I'm not going to worry about it because it's hard cutting. Now, we're going to switch to the icing now. And uh, i got to change my threads for that, but I'm not going to put this dark brown 
away. So, uh, cause we're going to need it for the stripes, I think. Yeah. So this is, this is the color, by the way. Whoops. Don't want to put it too close. Let's ha put it the right way. Uh, eight, five, nine, and it's exquisite thread and it's the perfect color of brown. So now white. Now I like watching the live, then the replay. Oh, that's awesome. So two views. I like that. That, that helps a lot. The more views, the better for sure. For sure. I like it. All right. Now we're going to take a minute to stitch the icing out because I don't know about you guys, but when I have a cinnamon roll, I really like to have a lot of icing. I have a sweet tooth, so I digitized a lot of icing <laughs> just for fun. Zoom you guys in. There you can see it. Now I use kind of a, a light stitch on it. So as you guys can see, it's actually pretty easy to do. It's not hard in any way, shape or form. So it's kind of, kind of fun to do. Love it. Yummy embroidery. Yes, I know. I know. It's delicious. Delicious was the word of the day. So I don't know if you guys saw, but in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group, um, Karina put a picture of her cinnamon rolls that she made. I was like, yes, exactly, Karina. Exactly. We have a lot of fun in our, in our game. <laughs> we do. Lots of fun. Just, you know, the games of chicken. Bjorn, have I talked now? Bjorn is still hiding, so let me pull the camera out. This is Bjorn. And Bjorn got snatched by a couple of hounds. And he ended up being outside, but he protects me against... Protects the machine against gremlins. He used to sit here all the time, but I've moved him because I don't want him eaten and dragged around even, which is kind of funny. Is the icing light stitch enough to put mylar behind it? It is probably too much for, for mylar. I don't know if it would show through enough because it's not that light. It's light-ish, I think. Might be able to put it on the bun part, but I don't know. Do you want a glowy, a glowy cinnamon bun? No. So I think it's um, probably about four times too heavy for mylar. Good question, though. And that would have been a great idea too. Okay, now that's gonna make me crave cinnamon rolls all the time. I know, right? When was the last time you had an amazing cinnamon roll? <laughs> Tease Karina, torture the rest of us. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Paula says, love this design. I can't wait to make it fun. It is pure fun. It could go on your breakfast table, you know, with a coffee on it. I think that would be great. I may do more pastry mug rugs. I think that would actually kind of be fun. Um, I must do an egg, a fried egg, too. I just think that would be cute. So, yeah, it's coming along. And this is why I did just a little info, digitizing tips and tricks. So I always try to throw something good in there. I didn't do the satin stitches because everyone does them. That's the first reason. But I wanted the icing to go up and over. And it's a little too difficult. I don't like how it looks when you use satin stitches. So this is my favorite way to edge any applique. It's it's a little, mm, little less like, you know, standard. So I like it. So are there any questions? It would be cute with a teacup. Absolutely. Oh, I must have a cup of tea today. I must. I must. I think every morning when I get up, I think I want a cup of tea. And then around this time of day, I think I didn't have a cup of tea. Man. Man. Catch you all later. Have a good rest of your day, Jenny. Thanks for watching. And happy stitching, of course. So yeah, it's kind of in the middle of the uh, workday as well, but... 
Maybe I can do some recorded Mug Rug Mondays too. I must have a cinnamon roll. I would even take, you know, the Pillsbury ones that you know, pop out of the tube, but I would even do that. That's how good they are. Is Karina here? Where's Karina? I didn't see Karina. Oh, there she is. I'm here. I'm here. Well, this is called Karina's Cinnamon Roll, and uh, we were just giving you a hard time about it, Karina. That's all. Just for fun. Sorry I'm late for my cinnamon roll. <laughs> we were just actually having a really good giggle about it because it was uh, teasing Karina and torturing the rest of us. So everybody wants a cinnamon roll now. I had to pick up some fabric. Woohoo! That's, that's always a good chore to have. Um, I was also saying, Karina, that the color of the um, bun is my gingerbread fabric so you can just you know I rated my Christmas for Christmas fabric for it I thought it was a perfect color and then just a little bit darker for around the outside and the extra cinnamon that piles up now we need a hand towel with a cinnamon roll recipe embroidered on it oh yeah, that would be uh, a beautiful set, wouldn't it? I have, you guys are going to love this. I have a book, a recipe book from the old Beatrice. So who I named my daughter after. And it's from 1795 or something like that. I can't remember. 18? No, it can't be that. It has to be earlier than that. Um, and it has some recipes. So if I can find that in there, I think that would be really cool. But it is the old Beatrice's book. Beatrice upstairs would remember the date, but it was just so shocking. And the pages are very delicate. But uh, I'll show it to you guys. We actually found some good ones. And then we found some really weird ones in it. A lot of the book is how to be presentable for your husband and clean your house and, and then cook or something. It's kind of funny, but I think an old recipe and then someone can test it out. So I'll put that on my list. I know where the book is. It'll be easy to find. And uh, I think that's a great idea. So old recipes indeed. The other thing that I have that's really cool is... Um, they still use the Gray's Anatomy book for nursing, and I have my grandmother's, and my mother used it. Uh, Sam took it. Didn't really apply enough, like it's old procedures, because, yeah, you know, yeah. My mom graduated in 65, so it was well before that. Uh, probably 1920 for my grandmother. So that's kind of a cool thing. I've seen books like that, yeah. Cinnamon roll without calories. There you go. A delicious, I thought adding the word delicious was funny. Uh, I don't know if it is, but I thought it was. A delicious cinnamon roll with fabric. So yeah, zero calories, all the taste. No, don't. Don't eat it. <laughs> I've seen books like that. I know it's fascinating when you look at them. And there's handwritten notes from the old Beatrice as well. Uh, which is really cool. Notes on different things that they're just like pinned to it. It's neat. I had to translate my cinnamon recipe to English and send it to my friends in the USA. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Super kind of you. I don't uh, really bake anymore. I did when my kids are little, but I don't really bake anymore because we don't really eat baked anything anymore everyone here is like vegetarian mostly so yeah but i think it would be fun cinnamon rolls we have a company i don't know if it's in the states anymore it's few and far between in canada but it's called cinnabon and it is the best cinnamon rolls ever and you can just get them still warm and tons of the icing and yeah it's a real treat uh we have to go all the way to london so an hour it's 
right right near the Apple store, so yeah, I'll be visiting there. So yeah, isn't this looking good? Tasty? Now, if you don't like the built-up cinnamon um, lines in it, um, Cinnabon, Sherry says, Cinnabon is great. I know. I'm kind of glad, though, that they're not everywhere like they used to be because I would eat them all the time time because <laughs> they're that because they're that good um if you don't like the um darker parts like the outlines it's not really an outline but it's the extra cinnamon on it you can just leave it out and for this one i am gonna leave it out and we'll see how it looks without you know the detail work because i'm thinking this looks pretty good but we'll see so that was let's see 13 minutes of stitching the whole mug rug is 15,220 stitches and it's 24 minutes to stitch this is the longest part yes we have cinnabon i like cineholic better oh i've never heard of that it's like cin cinnabon but you get to choose the frosting and toppings oh good lord really that would be so good that would be so good yeah yummy 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 addictive for sure yeah but i don't think i should eat cinnamon cinnamon buns every day <laughs> i really can't but <laughs> I could. My brain says I could. So yummy. So we're almost done, actually. This is the longest part of the stitch. And uh, once it's done, we're going to, well, you can have the choice. You can always stitch out the darker, or we can go straight to putting the back on and doing the satin stitches. So that's probably what we're going to do just skip ahead that's all you have to do skip ahead perfect yeah just because all the the details are there doesn't necessarily mean you have to stitch them out if you think for some reason it would look better or it's just looking better to you then skip them so that's what i'm gonna try where's my other cinnamon where's my oh there it is okay so this, this is, let me pull the camera back. This is the one with the outlines, which I think does look good. But let's see how this one looks in final form. Because I am hoping it's going to look good. I love it. We're almost done. I love this stitching. It's called the hand stitch effect beautiful could this be embroidered on a dish towel yeah why not why not you can even skip these part the this part just skip it and go to this applique yeah i just got home and turned this on oh my it looks delicious lots of fiber yes and zero calories we decided so yeah awesome So we'll see at the end which one we like better. I think my favorite part about this thing is the outside. So we're going to have fun. Uh, we're going to have fun with this. Let's see. So this is the outlines. And so I'm going to skip them. So let's uh, go to that. Go there. Now there is one mistake I just see because I don't have, I don't have the outline for to put the back on and uh i will have to fix that i guess i just missed it it's been a little crazy this week so what do you do if you don't have that well stitch out an applique is one thing but all you have to do is go back a little bit and go to the first just go to the first one this is why i like to have it cut out before you put the back on because look, you can see the fabric. So you can be, you know, frugal, but not too frugal. 
Um, and I just slip it underneath. I don't use any tape or anything like that. I find this a big time saver. I didn't even take my hoop off. You just have to be very gentle. The give for the lift is just tiny. You don't want to break anything, but it does help that you can see through it. So I rewound to the beginning and to the very first step, and I'm going to stitch that out. Now that's just doing our putting our back on but you see it doesn't move anywhere and it makes it a whole lot easier there's nothing worse than stitching on the back of your hoop stitching something on and find out that uh you didn't do it right or it's folded over annoying so before i take that to trim the back i am gonna move up to exactly where we were so just forward a color back a color that's what i did and so if the if you ever have problems like that i mean it was just an elimination on my part um you can do it but see it's perfect it still works perfectly so that's an easy fix um for sure so we are going to trim this out I am again doing it backwards because my arm hurts so and I cut into it because my arm hurts look what I did there I cut into it <laughs> well you guys can't see I, I took a bite out of it so we'll see if it covers it up let's take a guess because we are doing satin stitches so I was trying to get an angle without turning it and it hurt my arm so I kind of jumped a little bit and that's what happens but hey I'm not going to worry about it if you cut in a lot further than this then what I would do is just do the same step over again don't cut anything off or do anything but put it back on your machine go back to the first one and then stitch it out and then trim it out and then you won't even know I'm going to risk it and leave it and see how it looks so let's go back to the machine we are gonna do the pretty part now and i'm pretty sure it's gonna cover it up so uh let's go so this is the satin stitches which is part of our finishing and i'm thinking it's gonna look great hopefully i i was off i was really off i didn't even do zigzag stitches oh my god susan williams hey everybody totally forgot sorry i'm late glad you could make it at all don't worry about being late there's always the replay left for you guys to watch so yeah i must uh i've had some really tough days so i totally forgot to do the zigzag stitches which is rare so two mistakes on one Woo. Well, not really mistakes, but not what I normally do. So I guess I'll get that fixed, figure out how to update the file and uh, deal with that. So yeah, Shannon, yay. I didn't see Lynn, she's probably still working, but she always watches the replay too. <laughs> Karina ate my bun. Karina, how did she do that? long distance snacking i guess right oh and also i should say something i never do but i did this time uh change your bobbin to match your top thread before you do any of these final stitches and you can do it for both colors if you want i cheated a little bit and i used white red because the bobbin's white but I mean who's counting right <laughs> I almost I could almost lick the screen as what Ronog says it's awesome it's it's really cute so I want to decide if I like the icing without the extra cinnamon outline or if I like it just plain I think both look good I mean you know what it is anyways Two for the nurses at um, hospice that I usually give stuff to. 
some nice big satin stitches. I think it's gonna um, cover it up. I think it'll be fine. That looks so yummy. Thank you, Sue. All will be well for you. Yay! Thank you, for sure. See, this part doesn't take too long either. It's four minutes a stitch to stitch this part out. I'm actually ha hangry, hungry from some for some icing. Mmm. Mmm. I would actually really, really, you know, really love a cinnamon bun. Bun. Cinnabon. Like I said, I don't bake anymore. I, I probably could find a recipe and I will look up the old Beatrice to see what she has for it because that would be really cool. So Beatrice would be my great great grandmother I think which is cool that we even have some of her stuff for icing <laughs> for icing yeah I figured out what you were trying to say Shannon that's okay icing mm. remember when we were kids they used to have dunkaroos I saw them again I saw them in shoppers so a pharmacy store and my goodness, were they expensive. But I haven't seen them for years. Is that okay there? Ah, looks like I was a bit short on this one too. That's okay. We still have another stitch to do. Um, they were they were pretty expensive, so I usually um, buy animal crackers and a thing of icing and it tastes so much better. You're killing me, I'm gonna bake some cinnamon buns. <laughs> Does this require yeast? I know Karina Karina is the main one on making them. So, okay, I move the camera back a little bit. And I'm gonna take off my white and I'm gonna put that same brown, the darker brown that would have been in the icing and is around uh, the cinnamon bun. It is cinnamon colored, oh, dark cinnamon. So I'm gonna do the uh, decorative work, which I really love on this one. I'm gonna keep experimenting with um, making original kind of finishings that are different because I love this one. I was so happy once I created it. I'd like some rope stuff too. I think that would look good. So this one's kind of easy. Makes it stripey. I'll zoom you guys in so you can really see it. Isn't that awesome? I know. Susan Williams, I'm embroidering now. The bobbin thread is coming up to tension too tight or too loose. Uh, it's usually the upper thread. So my first thing I would do is completely take the thread out, how you have it, you know, set up and make sure you pull the thread out in the direction that it's going and re-thread. If it's still doing it, then I would do the same thing, but I would put a fresh bobbin in it. Sometimes the bobbins don't wind properly and there's a little extra, you know, give in it and then it pulls it up. So chain, do the thread again, change the bobbin and it'll probably fix itself. Um, third case is change your thread. Um, I've been embroidering for 20 years and I can't remember ever changing like the tension settings. I keep it at default. It's usually, you know, some dirt blocking something or user error or whatever. So it'll, it'll save you time. It'll save you time if, if you just search for the answer. So in those stripes, aren't they nice? I love it. So rethread rethread and try the bobbin rethread with different thread should be good i am so happy with how this turned out i love the stripes so let's see 
if I was able to cover up my boo-boos or if I should have done more. Nope. Look at that. Oh, I love satin stitches. Look at that. Perfect on the back. Perfect. That one part that I was concerned about got tucked in with the um, stripes. And that is awesome. So, yeah, I made a couple big boo-boos. Uh, that's okay. The important part is not to panic. If you think it's going to be covered up, then fine. Just keep going. I mean, it's not like it's a huge project or anything. So you can, um, you know, work at it, do it again sort of thing. And it doesn't matter if you do an extra layer on the back either. But... Everything was nicely covered up. So water soluble stabilizer. So I just take the most of it off, the majority of it off. Now I'm going to soak the whole thing because I found um, when you are using them that if you only do the outside edge, there's still water soluble stabilizer inside. And if your drink is drippy, <laughs> then it will crease it all up so I just find it better to do that so which one do you guys like better which one like the actual cinnamon cinnamon bun so this one has a darker outline for extra um cinnamon and this one doesn't so it looks 3d yeah sounds good so sherry likes the extra cinnamon so it's this one and the only difference is, you see there's outlines. It gives it a little more depth and everything, but it's extra cinnamon. Uh, the new one I like more. Okay, okay. I like the first one. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Either one, you know, either one is just fine. The darker background makes that, yeah, I was thinking that too. I did some light flowers with kind of like a medium. Um... I think so. Karina says extra cinnamon makes it look 3D. Yeah, likes them both. Like them both. I kind of do too. They each are quite good. I don't know which one I like. Definitely the darker bath background. Both look great. Yay! So uh, you guys can stitch out your own cinnamon buns. <laughs> and when Karina says on Saturdays, oh, I'm stitching out my cinnamon bun, you can go, yep, I have one now too. It's easy. So yeah, for sure. Don't forget to pick up the shadow box designs. There's two of them up on the website. The horses, the fire horses, just the colors I did them in, are it's absolutely stunning. So you can pick that up. Jesse, I'll catch the replay. Yep. And then you can let us know what you think. Definitely a dark background. So that's going to help you guys. And um, are they on the site or do you have to fix something? There, It's up on the site. It's going to take me a little bit to figure out how to fix it so you can re-download it. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. Um, it's just uh, the outline. So if you have the design... Robin says, I got the owl and the cinnamon bun. Want the bigger roll. <laughs> I know. I was thinking about that. I was thinking making a huge one, but I thought, oh, I must be just hungry or something. But I will fix it. Right now, all you have to do is go, you know, rewind, I call it, go back to the first step, and it's just going to hold it on the back. So my apologies. I will get that done. This actually looks really good. I didn't change my bobbin thread for the back and it still looks really cool actually it looks really cool the um fire horses the shadow box designs they are on the website and they're fine we stitched them out together so it's awesome so huge one for a trip i know but then it'll make you want one even more I've seen that they can just make big ones. I can just go back. I have the Luminaire 3. Yeah, absolutely. It's not um, a huge deal. I mean, I like everything to be perfect, but totally different subject. But can you tell me what size to cut the hexes on grandmother's garden? Uh, one inch 
one inch and you know how you can figure that out and call it up on your computer and the majority of uh, embroidery software you can measure and that's the way but I wanted to keep it standard and standard the best size is one inch so there you go it's actually um, if you have English paper piecing you'll find like a good you know a good way of doing it but um, I did it that size too because uh, AccuQuilt has English paper piecing dies for it and it saved me a ton of time I just put it through the AccuQuilt and I had a whole handful of them and I played around with colors so it's yeah if I can use my AccuQuilt I will use it I love it and now I'm allowed to say that I used it so ha that's awesome so thanks everyone for watching I hope you guys like this video please like this video uh, get Karina's um, cinnamon buns they're really good and they're a lot of fun to stitch out and I will um, get to fixing them and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone. B, I want cinnamon buns now. <laughs>